the Boston Bruins snapped a three-game losing streak this past Saturday night after they defeated the Toronto Maple Leafs in overtime. That was not the only streak snap this past Saturday night against the Maple Leafs as Captain Brad Marchand finally scored his first goal of the season with the overtime winner after Derek Posnock took a shot on net and Brad Marchand got to the rebound. Justin Brazo also scored in the win against Toronto. The six foot five right winger played alongside Charlie Coyle and Brad Marchand on the second line. He remained on this line during practice today. I to kind of do what I do best, uh, make some room out there for those guys, and you know, try to be hard on four checks and help them get pucks back. Um, you know, being at that net so when they're making their plays and stuff, that you know I'm there for second opportunities. One main thing that Coach Montgomery is looking for the Bruins to do is put pressure on the puck in these upcoming games. Our puck pressure last game was the best it's been, uh, but it's still not where it needs to be. Uh, I would not come close to describing our team as relentless, and that's where we want to get to. Charlie Coyle stressed the importance of protecting the defensive zone and everyone pulling their weight, as well as putting pressure on the other team and getting to pucks first. With our, our D-zone structure that we have, we need kind of layers and you know, someone falls down, someone loses an edge, someone gets beat out of the corner. We got layers there. It's not just a clear path to the net. So we got to make sure where our D zone is up to par and kind of everyone's kind of chipping in no matter what. The Bruins will look to build on this momentum when they face the Philadelphia Flyers tomorrow night at home. Puck drop is set for 7 p.m. Reporting from Warrior Arena, I'm Julia Simone, Black and Gold Productions.